Hi, my name is Alex with A Tech Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to solve a giant mystery that I have in Jira, and that is how do I know when an issue has become stale? How do I find issues that just aren't moving across my board? Jira has a neat little feature built in, and I'm going to teach you how to enable it and how to use it in today's video. If you haven't already, please smash that subscribe button, drop a like if you find value in this video, and if you have any questions about anything, please let me know in the comments section below. Let's jump into Jira. Okay, so here we are back in Jira, and I am in an active sprint board. Uh, for this to work most effectively, you definitely want to be in an active sprint board, or at least in a board. This will work whether you're in a Kanban board or in a Scrum board. But nonetheless, you want to be in one of these company managed software project boards. I don't know if this is going to work for any other template in Jira, but just so you're aware, the scope is Scrum or Kanban within a software style project and definitely company managed. All right. So if you're on this board and you're looking at it and you're having your daily scrums with your team and everybody's busy, uh, make sure you check out my other video about how to use Jira to run your dailies. Uh, to run your daily scrum and i also have a great video on how to plan the perfect sprint so make sure you check both of those because they're going to provide you some good uh, foundational knowledge that you need to really leverage what i'm going to be talking about here so assuming you're on this board and you're noticing a common pattern people your developers your team they're 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 making they sound like they're making progress they're definitely being busy they're updating you on impediments they they're updating you on what they did yesterday what they're doing today and yet at the end of every sprint, you find yourself in a situation where the work just doesn't get done. The, the sprint, you have a lot of rollover issues. Issues just aren't coming to completion. And so a easy way for you to visualize this is this cool little feature that I'm going to show you how to enable in Jira. So you want to be able to have board administration. So you need to be able to at least click on this ellipses and see the board settings. So once you do that, you want to come down to card layout and there's a section for days and column show a visual indicator on each card that represents the time spent in the column this can help identify slow moving issues this right here is an amazing little little toggle that jira just threw in there because when you do this when you make this column green or this little slider green and you go back to your board you will notice that issues all of a sudden they're going to start showing some dots and depending on how long an issue has been in a specific status, these dots are going to be filled in from like a, like a, a light gray to up to four dots. So once an issue has been there for a really long time, I've seen issues being in, in my board for like hundreds of days because they've been in this to do status for a really long time and people have just been ignoring them or forgot about it, that you'll fill up the whole thing. But as you can see, you can just hover over it. And it'll tell you how many days this issue has been in this column. Now, a couple of things I want to mention here. One, this functionality will show you when it enters a specific status or, or, or the column. So when, when you move it from one status to the other, it basically gets reset. And so keep that in mind that sometimes an issue, when you go to a new status, you're basically starting fresh. So this won't solve the problem of like the whole lead time or I should say cycle time for the whole issue because it's this is not telling you, hey, since since I created the issue to when I moved it to done, um, I'm, I've been stuck, right? This is just showing you from the moment I move from status to status, how long have I been in that specific status? And the second thing that I want to caution you when, when relying on this feature is if I move this issue to in progress, it does that reset that I just mentioned, right? However, if I move it back to to do, right? Jira is going to basically, and let me open it back up here so you can see the, the history here. Jira is going to acknowledge that I was in to-do and that I moved it into in progress, but that I moved it back to to-do. But because I'm still back in that column, back in that original status, Jira intelligently is keeping track of, I'm still back in the status, so it's like if I had never moved. And so it'll still display the days that it's been in that status. So it doesn't reset if you're going back, which is... A good thing or a bad thing depending on how you want to see this but nonetheless this is a cool little way for you to really start identifying how many issues have been in which status and what's becoming stale 
As a scrum master, you then want to go and that becomes your hit list. That becomes a list of, hey, why is this stuck in to-do? If Why is it 17 days when our sprints are only 10 days long? How How is this happening? And so now you can go have these difficult or challenging or maybe prosperous conversations with your team to dig a little deeper to find out what's going on behind the scenes, which, which really enables the team to then start making progress. So you definitely want to leverage this as a tool in your arsenal to really start peeling the layers back and start asking the questions to your team and finding out why something is stuck. You also want to see this and, and bring this up and mention it during your daily scrums because as I mentioned in one of my videos, how to use Jira to run your daily scrum and you haven't already go check that video out. But you want to leverage this, this information, this metadata that you're going to be seeing here in the issue to ask your developer or your team, hey, is, is there something I can help you with? Are you waiting for something? And more often than not, the, the answer I usually get is like, oh, well, I sent so-and-so an email and I'm waiting for them to get back to me and it's been a few days, but they don't, for some reason, it just blows my mind that the team usually doesn't have the initiative or the drive to be proactive and go follow up. <laughs> and so they'll send the email, they do their due diligence, right? And they kind of just go and work on something else and if the email never comes back, most people don't speak up. And so as a Scrum Master, you want to go and identify those things so that you can then unblock that communication and then give your team the, the information they need to go make progress. And so this little, this super simple, subtle, but so important feature here is going to really help you highlight those issues and then enable your team to then even make more progress. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Most of the people that I work with when I enable this, it just unlocks a whole new world for them because all of a sudden you can see a lot of insight into at least what issues are just stuck, right? Which is a really good thing for you to be aware of so that you can then help on help give your team some traction so that they can keep making progress. So if you haven't already, please make sure you smash that subscribe button, drop a like if you found value in this video. And if you have any questions about anything that I talked here, please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.